Hello and welcome to this course on cyber security and privacy. This course is about the dark side of the cyber world. Cyber technologies or the cyber world has emerged extensively in the current times. In the contemporary world, we all use technology, digital technologies. Uh, it's not just human beings uh, in, as one entity, but people uh, in groups, people in organizations, people in government. We use technology in different contexts. And they, uh, the technology has huge potential to ease our life and also um, increase efficiency and effectiveness of work. But at the same time, there is a dark side to it. As the adoption of technology grows, so are the challenges that are facing the uh, use of technologies, especially from the dark world. Hackers uh, get updated on the new technologies and uh, they try to disrupt, attack and cause damage to technology for various reasons. Okay. So um, unless you secure your technology, unless you secure your digital assets, uh, your entire business or your entire organization may collapse if you are very much dependent on digital technologies. Recent cases or recent incidents throw light on the potential of cyber uh, attacks on disrupting and destroying uh, the digital world. We increasingly hear about drones and how they destroy uh, assets, not only physical assets but even human beings. Uh, we also hear about other kinds of cyber attacks, uh, threats that are increasing in the cyber world. And uh, the purpose of this course uh, is multifold. One is to generate awareness about the, um, the, about the dark side of the digital world, especially for uh, practicing managers and uh, cyber security professionals. It is important to understand what, is, uh, what are the cyber security challenges. The other aspect of the course uh, is that this course deals with cyber security and privacy not from a technological point of view alone, but it also looks at cyber security as a management issue, as a governance issue. So governance risk and compliance uh, are three critical aspects of cyber security uh, from a managerial perspective. So this course takes the administrative or managerial perspective and also looks at technology that uh, is challenged or that can be destroyed and technology is also seen as a source for protecting technologies. So the, the twofold uh, role of technology would be dealt with in this course. Okay, there is another aspect to this course which is uh, pure management of cyber assets so and secure securing cyber assets so for that actually we go to fundamental lessons of management where planning plays an important role so we look at cyber security planning from two perspectives one is the contingency planning where uh, the basic assumption is that things can go wrong and incidents can happen cyber attack can happen somebody can take control of your machine and ask for money, you know, the ransomware attacks which are growing increasingly today. So in this kind of context when an attack happens, how can an organization uh, get its technology restored to a normal condition, how fast it can recover. So that is the contingency planning and impact analysis, uh, etc. Okay, that is one aspect of planning. The other aspect of planning is to look at cyber assets as um, assets to be protected and therefore you actually uh, take a risk management perspective, evaluate the value of uh, each of the assets and what are the potential uh, threats that can actually happen and what, what are the probabilities and tr you try to uh, arrive at certain um, quantitative or qualitative uh, estimate of so-called residual risk and then plan management action based on what should be done for each asset. So that is actually a planning um, based on risk management, okay, risk perspective. The other is, uh, so here we don't assume that uh, something has already happened, but the it is more 
uh, it, it is not reactive but more uh, preventive in nature. Okay, so we de the, this course deals with both the aspects of cyber security planning and it also covers certain standards that are useful in implementing this kind of plans and uh, then subsequently this course uh, also deals with uh, cyber security technologies especially from a protection point of view. What are the technologies that are available to protect cyber assets? So in that context we will be discussing cryptography uh, and uh, recent developments uh, in cyber security technologies. Okay? We will also be having an uh, industry expert to share um, current um, technologies that are at use for cyber security. So alongside another aspect of this course is information privacy. Okay? So we move from cyber security to information privacy because uh, often times what is at risk is data. Okay? It is the data that the hackers often steal. Okay? So there is a value to individuals data. Okay? So we build the concept of privacy from fundamentals. What is privacy? Uh, what is information privacy and uh, what are the current developments that are related to information privacy worldwide. We hear about regulations that are enacted in different parts of the world um, in the context of growing use of uh, information technology uh, by individuals and organizations and government. So we see in India we are waiting for a, an act called Digital Personal Data Protection Act okay, called DPDP which uh, is expected uh, to become a law very soon. So Indian government you can see is very conscious of the importance of information privacy of individuals. The, the, high, the Supreme Court of India upheld privacy as a fundamental right. So these are current developments you know as technology becomes pervasive the vulnerability of individuals grow and it becomes the responsibility of governments to protect it and how do you actually protect uh, privacy it is using technology. So you see the role of technology or cyber security is also to protect uh, information privacy and uh, then who is responsible for it, what are the dif who are the different stakeholders involved and what, do, what, what does regulation do in different parts of the world right from Europe, GDPR and India's DPDP and so on. And so we, uh, we also look at cyber security and technology from managerial, economic and strategy perspective. Okay. So um, who should take this course? Those who use technology and those who are responsible for technology and wh whoever uh, use technology today would benefit from this course. So warm welcome to this course on cyber security and privacy. Thank you.